Good morning. Thank you for joining us. My name is Sambo Solomon. This is Equa Television International, and the show is uh, The Choice. And um, as you know, we are covering the election of uh, 2023, particularly the GOBA and then the National Assembly. And then we are looking at uh, reactions of people out there across the country where elections hold. And then we have uh, declaration um, here and there. And so far, we have a quite number of states that have been declared, um, and then few others are pending. And we hope that uh, collation in some areas will resume today, and then uh, as the result uh, pop, we'll definitely inform you. So just keep uh, it tight with Equa Television. And um, I have uh, Joyce Dakada in the studio, and I have Sadeh Lesha. Good morning, Sam. Yeah, Good together morning. we'll be doing this, and then later, later in the show and one of us will drop and then somebody will join so just uh keep it tight with us just remember that uh, we are live on facebook and youtube do well to drop your comment and uh, as well like the page thank you and uh later we'll open the phone line also it's a normal culture so that we will know how uh, people are feeling out there whether we are jubilating or we are lamenting on the process. So, thank you for staying with Equa Television. Joyce, almost 19 states, you yes. know, so far have been uh, declared. Well, you recall before the announcement, we were talking about how tense the atmosphere is. Mm -hmm. People were anxious, like you go down the streets, almost empty. People were just awaiting results. And even here, we've seen how people kept calling. Um, what's the result from my place and all of that? But well, um, out of the 28 states that um, the governorship election was conducted, we saw how that about 18 have so far been um, announced, others inconclusive, mm -hmm. and others like um, coalition suspended. In some streets, uh, we've seen how some people are rejoicing, jubilating. Others, people are indoors, and they are, they are, they are not happy mm -hmm. with the process. Political parties saying, no, we are going to court. In Israel, PDP said they are going to court because they actually won the election. And while INEC has seen APC won, and they've declared um, AA Suli, in Plateau State yesterday, we saw how jubilation, people were on the streets celebrating, like um, the emergence of um, Caleb, Barrister Caleb Mutfuang. And this morning, there was a video showing the uh, APC candidate saying that they will go to court. Mm -hmm. And then when you go to other states as well, people, like, I think one in Kaduna yesterday as well, people were already celebrating, like the PDP supporters, um, not until about 6 um, p.m. past 6 when the, um, the returning officer announced the APC candidate as the winner. So you go to Bauchi, the street too was filled with celebration. People were really celebrating um, Bala um, Mohammed, the uh, uh, governorship candidate of the PDP. Well, the election, whether we like it or not, um, even of international observers have, have talked about the fact that it was also mad with violent mm -hmm. attack. It was <coughs> mad with intimidations. For some people, they said, in fact, talks took over uh, 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 um, the election because they would tell you it wasn't, um, you, you, the presence of security was not felt if people were actually disenfranchised, among other things. So um, there was issue of violence attack, there's issue of intimidation, ballot box snatching, among others. But I, I think what is more important right now, like we continue to see, it, it, there's need for Nigerians to remain peaceful and remain calm. That we, we have the tribunal and uh, for, for the betterment of the nation, I think resorting to street violence uh, mm -hmm. will, will only do us harm instead of good. So, but but when you look at what happened in some part of the country, it, it's it's quite shameful if you ask me. Mm -hmm. It's so shameful that um, people can walk freely on the streets, telling people that if you're not voting for this party, don't come outside. It's shameful because we're a democratic nation. So why should we be seeing uh, signs of? Um, um, autocratic leadership. Mm -hmm. I think the people that they are actually speaking for should have bent their heads in shame. Uh, and then the fact that we don't even see them coming out to even rebuke these people's mm -hmm. people is quite shameful. So I just hope that um, we will get to a point that election will be election. The election will be about the people. We've seen voter apathy, low turnout in most places, even as we, we, we 
continue to encourage people to turn out, to come out, to come out and vote, exercise their civic responsibility. But you recall how I always said, how would somebody come out with threat to his life and then <coughs> no presence of security? Mm -hmm. Of course, most people will not be able to come out. These people were going out with machetes. Eh? People are going out with knives, with all minor of things, just to want people not to come out. And if you, you don't see security presence, people won't come out. And that is why we talk about the low um, voter turnout. So it's, it's quite shameful to see an intimidation of all sorts. Like we saw how that some gladiators came out publicly and say, see, this place is this parties. Mm. It's this particular party that we're mm. going to deliver. Mm. And I wonder, are you speaking on behalf of the people or you're you are literally speaking to rig the election? Mm. So it's actually uncalled for. But so far, let's just go through the number of um, the, the announcement that were made so far of the people that actually emerged um, as the um, winner of the governorship election in their various states. In Lagos State, um, Babajide Saun Olu of the APC was declared um, the winner of the election in Oyo Shei Makinde of the PDP um, was declared winner in Akwa Ibon Umo Eno of the um, PDP was actually declared winner. And then going to um, Kwara, we have um, Abdul Razak of the APC who was declared winner in Kwara State. And then when you go to Yobe, in Yobe State, we have the um, Incumbent governor, who is who was one time the um, caretaker Kate chairman Kate of the APC, <laughs> talking about Nimala Buni, um, he he actually got his second time bid. And when you go to Katsina, Katsina State, I think in Katsina, Diko um, Rada of the APC in Katsina emerged as the winner of the 2023 gubernatorial um, election. And in Jigawa State. In Jigawa State, we have um, Umar Namadi of the APC emerging as winner of the election. And going to Gombe, in Gombe State, um, the uh, incumbent governor, Inuwa Yahaya of the APC, was declared winner. And when you go to Cross River State, in Cross River State, we have the gubernatorial candidate of the APC. Basi Otu, he won the gubernatorial election. And in Kano, in Kano, where we have two contending um, parties, um, we have the, the one of the NMPP, Abba Yusuf Kabir, uh, winning the election there. And in Plateau State, um, <laughs> where we are right now, and I think um, because we, have, we we actually experience the atmosphere here, we can tell that yes, um, the people are actually rejoicing that Caleb Mutfang um, led in the race and was declared winner of the election. And going to Eboingi State in Eboingi, we have Francis Nwifuro of the APC emerging as the winner of the election there and going to Niger State Umar Bago of the APC was also declared winner in Ogun Dapo Abiodun of the APC was declared um, winner and in Borno State Babaga Nazulum of the APC like this I, I know for him this will not be surprising and I think the candidate of all progressive Congress APC was declared the winner of the March 18th governorship election in the state, having pulled five. I, I, like I needed to call this um, number yeah, five four uh, five hundred and forty five thousand five hundred and forty two. And the governor Babagana um, Zulum defeated his closest contender Mohammed um, Jajari of the People's Democratic Party, who scored just eighty two thousand one hundred and forty seven. Mm. When you talk about governance, I think Babagala Zulum of the uh, APC in, in Borno State is, is one of the governors that you can give it to because clearly, clearly, I think everyone, uh, majority of the people in that state can attest. This man, you keep seeing him commissioning projects, waking up as early as he's going for provisions across hospital, um, schools, and all of that. And for many Nigerians will say, 
where is he getting his money? Mm. <laughs> and then in the midst of all the you know insecurity going mm. on in that state, you could still see that schools are not being affected because mm. we make sure that you know students are in a way that are safe. So like just like you're saying, mm. I was really excited and happy looking at what he has done there. And then even though people might want to make mm. reference that anyway he's receiving his support from UNICEF, mm. he's receiving his support from UN, but then mm. we can still see there are other states where yes. They're actually receiving support, but the you know, indigents cannot really attest to the fact that they are feeling the impacts of mm. all of this thing. But for him in particular, you could actually tell that, yeah, just like we were making reference to Shei Mackenzie of Oyo State, mm. that even after that, you could see that from his face, he didn't look really stressed. Mm. And then we could, even from the calls we we're receiving, you know that, yes, mm. this is a man that the people's mandate, the people's wish is mm. actually at play. Unlike other say where we see that there's actually no jubilation nothing mm. so you begin to wonder is this what the people wanted or mm. did he impose himself on the people but for one or two of these days we could mm. see that really the people's wish is actually at the head of this and i think that's what we actually mm. need governance at the end of mm. the day where we keep talking about where the sovereignty lies you know that it lies with the people you can actually see it. so for people of that kind i mean we should really applaud them mm. and we just hope that they continue in that spirit mm. it's one thing for you to say for the first four years we can actually see you doing something mm. now let's test you again for the second time to be sure that you keep that earlier on on the dailies i was making a reference i say for states where we can see another party take over. Mm. I just hope that the civil servants will not pay for it. Mm. Because we've seen over, over, over the years for some state where we see that if another party is taking over, the civil servants are the one paying. We see four months, five months, six months, no salary mm. until another governor comes in and then he start back, you know, back dating, start paying them back. So we just hope that that will not be what we see at play during this, you know, this period, that you will keep the spirit. And I keep saying that parties are not acting without the people in it. So we should take away this because this is party AA, party ZZ, whatever the party is. It's all about the people. It's all about one Nigeria. Mm -hmm. And just like you're making reference to the fact that we've seen violence, pocket of chaos, it even breaks my heart that we saw that even in Tarababa, two policemen had to pay with their lives a clash between soldiers and police. You begin to wonder, mm -hmm. Joyce, what led to such? Back was then that we hardly even see the soldiers mentally, you know, uh, you know, interfering in civilian duties. You hardly even see them, mm. except when we're having terrorist attacks somewhere different, like at the, the sh we see them at the boundary, keeping peace and all of that. Mm. But right now we are seeing them interfering in civil duties. And so mm. it's really sad when we begin to see that the violence is not just now between talks or the people. Mm. It has even gone to the fact that we're even seeing even law enforcement agency mm. being affected. And just like you said, it's a shame where we see that even the European Union will actually express displeasure with all that have happened, the violence and things that didn't go as expected. Just like we see something as simple as election, people have to pay for their life. And it pains me because we see this mostly in governorship election, more than presidential election, begin to ask questions, why do we have this recorded when we're having governorship election? And then we don't really see that much, even though it was there, but we didn't see that much during the presidential election. So I think it's a time where, yes, the elections have come and gone, but we need to take notes. What can we now do differently? How can we now stand out? We can see that with places like Enugu, where results are un inconclusive for mm. now, we can see that presently Inamani there have actually you know, dumped the, AP, uh, the PDP mm. because he felt he was not re-elected. So even though I know it might go beyond that, but then in a time like this, I just hope, truly, I just hope that we'll just jot down what we can do differently. And then for all those governors that have emerged, whether mm. you're coming in freshly or you are continuing, mm. continue in that spirit that the people have trusted you People have believed in you, so you should do the right thing. Well, still talking about Babakana Zulum of um, APC that won Borno State. Um, I well, must say congratulations to Borno people that stood by him as well as um, the, 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 the governor. And uh, like Sele said, much is expected of him. Mm. Uh, we've seen his work, and people expect that you continue in that spirit. And if you go to Benue State, where you have High Saint Aliyah, uh, um, the, the, the priest, mm. <laughs> <laughs> you won under the platform of the APC. And I, I was already seeing people saying, Benue State, please, can you borrow me to be your first lady? <laughs> 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 that is the. Um, 
Reverend Father Hyacinth Alea, who was declared winner by the Independent National Electoral um, Commission, INEC. Um, the Catholic priest won with um, 473,933 votes ahead of his closest rival of the People's Democratic Party candidate Titus Uba, who scored 223,913. Wow, look at the gap. Yeah. Well, it shows that um, the voice of the people actually mm. is louder than the voice of the minority. Mm. And well, we, we say congratulations to him. We also have in Delta Sharif Obo um, Revori of the PDP being declared as winner in Delta State. And then in Sokoto, Ahmed Alihu of the um, APC in Sokoto State um, won the election. I think Nasara State is, is also one of the states that the mm. APC mm. A. Sule was um, declared um, winner there. So Sambo Sulu won lots of expectations on, mm. on, on these people and uh, going by the what we saw on the streets mm. i'm sure you have more to say on that mm. yes um you see I, I am happy that this thing is playing uh this way mm. and then with uh, now after the declaration mm. people are happy mm. for those that won, mm. and then for those that uh, are feeling otherwise, you know, uh, are not happy mm. or are having mixed feel. Mm. You, you understand. But uh, the beauty of the whole thing is the way, you know, people are even conducting themselves. Because you can even see, even in the celebration, people are not inciting, you know, because people are not even using provocative mm. words, mm. you know, simply because you, you, you win and then you begin to, to mock or begin to act in a way that it will provoke the other people that are feeling um, well they didn't get it this time around but I, I, I will tell you that mm. all these results you know are going to be contested mm. just like the, the way um, what you said earlier that uh, one of the candidates that lost in Plato State he's saying he's going to the court mm. most of them are saying they are going to the court to challenge the result. You remember the one of Lagos, mm. uh, GRV, you know, he's saying he's, he's going to the court to, to challenge the result. But I feel it's okay, you know, and then by coming there, people, they are saying, uh, please be calm, you know, we are going to um, um, fight for our mandate. Mm. We are going to challenge the, the, the result, you know, in the, um, in, in, in the court of, uh, of law. Uh, and then I will tell you that, um, you will see it that some of this election will be turned down. Hmm. Yes, in court, hmm. because there are a lot of irregularities. Hmm. It's either people I want, people want to come back by all means simply hmm. because they want to prove a point, not because they want to work. Hmm. But how can I be so 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 person and I lose election? What hmm. does that mean? Hello. If that's the case, then there should shouldn't be election, because you carry your name. Who that who you are, and then just go into the the government house. There's there's, there's no need for election. If you will say, uh, uh, like, Sambo Solomon to lose election in mm. Plateau State, like with the whole of this, with my popularity, you know, and I will lose election. That's what you will hear, mm. and and it's not good to our uh, our our politics is not good at all because you ha we have to understand that people are giving uh, people are the ones giving that that mandate you know if we say Sele should represent us is our mandate she's going with is not because she's popular or something yes you can be popular but popular or what mm. popular on your track record mm. yeah people will look at it and say yes uh, we, 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 we scan your activities and this is what we have found we found that, yes, uh, you are good in this, you are good in that, you have been helpful in this, you support these people, you know, in businesses, you help this community with water, with light, that, well, you are nothing. You understand? Like the example that GGM gave yesterday, you know, somebody that is just, is just somewhere in another state, coming to your state is more relevant than you that is occupying an office that people, you know, uh, entrusted that mandate in you for you to represent them. So I, I know, you know, now that these results are being uh, announced mm. and then 
people are being declared. Mm. Definitely people will challenge it in court. But I'm telling you that now the light, the beam light will shift to the court. Mm. And then now the court will prove their, um, their worth, their office. Now they will prove themselves. You know, now this thing is coming and then people are bringing all sorts of allegations, all sorts of um, um, evidences, you know, for you to give them hope in whatever they feel they are being cheated because that's the last hope of a, of a common man. Mm. So <laughs> they are expecting now the judiciary should do the needful mm. because we, we and, and, and the, the thing is that we don't want a situation why by the judiciary should decide you know, uh, people's mandate. Mm -hmm. No, it shouldn't be. If that's the case, then that shouldn't be INEC. Mm -hmm. Yes, that should be, it, it should be straight to the judiciary. So two people will just come and then the judiciary will decide one to just pick. Yes, mm -hmm. but why, why are we having INEC? Because they are, they are, they are the ones who, who are settled with the responsibility. Mm -hmm. You know, constitutionally, they have been given that mandate you know, to take care of that particular uh, um, 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 uh, session of, of, uh, of our life, you know, when it comes to a, uh, the nation. You understand? Politics, yes, this is what we are expecting. If you want to do politics, you have to follow through this place. And it should, it should be seamless. It should be seamless. You can't imagine spending over 300 a billion naira, you know, taxpayers' money, and then you begin to see all these irregularities. For instance, for Abia now, you know, the one local government that is in contention because they suspend collation. Mm. Now what they are saying, Joyce, it will shock you that the beavers that they are talking about, now they will fly from Abia to Abuja to meet experts. Mm. Experts mm. on beavers to work on it so that they would verify <laughs> and then go back to Abia and then continue with the collision. Hello, <laughs> we are telling the world this. In this 21st century, no, it's not acceptable. It's not, uh, with whose money? Taxpayers. <laughs> with whose money now you are flying just because of one local government? You are flying to come and meet experts in Abuja to check givers and then you, you fly back. No, 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 no. Yesterday we said it. Governorship election on the 18th. Today is what? 21st. Still yet the results are not being declared. Even the ones that are being declared, to us we are not satisfied. Mm -hmm. Because check the timing. 48 hours, most results are not out there. Mm -hmm. It is, is, is not acceptable. It's not acceptable. But it, 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 is, it is out there for the masses, mm -hmm. you know, to do the right thing. We know what to do. We have to stand for our right, know what we want, and stand by. Because if you check any, any um, um, state that you see that kind of a close margin, you know that something went wrong. Hmm. Is either there's an incumbent that is exercising his power using all state apparatus hmm. to make sure that he's back? Because in this kind of situation, that's when they will tell you if you know you are a commissioner, you have to deliver. You, you, don't, you don't have any reason not to deliver. You have to deliver from your pulling unit to even your local government. Hmm. If you are a political appointee, maybe you are an advisor or you are a PA or what, you have to deliver. It's a must. We, we, we shouldn't take politics to be like that. Mm -hmm. You understand? You have done your part. People have seen it. The, 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 the track records are there. People should vote you based on that. If they say they want to try a fresh thing, then allow them. Take a bow. Go down, check, review, and see your activities. Where did you get it wrong? Mm -hmm. There's another opportunity. People can still bring you back. That's true. People can still bring you back. But, well, <laughs> nevertheless, uh, the, the election have been declared for mm -hmm. places that already we yeah. have the result. But I feel... Uh, going by what the the opponents are saying, they are going to the court. Their people, they, their followers should become. Yes, they should become. Let's see what the court will do. Well, if you love your state so much, I think what is expected of you right now is to um, 
begin to speak to your supporters to remain calm sure. if you mean well for the state. Mm. But um, I think this is a time too that Nigerians across states need to be very sensitive because any governor or any candidate that will instigate uh, um, the citizens um, to violence, attack and all of that doesn't mean well for the state. And so we, we need to be very careful of comments we make and the information we actually consume. You recall that yesterday we talked about the fact that some PDP members in Zamfara State were talking about, oh, Governor Matawali is trying to use his power to rig the election. They were alleging mm -hmm. in his local government. But right now, as we speak, um, PDP's Dauda have actually unseat Matawali, mm -hmm. and he has been declared the winner in Zamfara. Mm -hmm. And well, congratulations to him. There's also a, a development um, going by the results that have been announced so mm. far. Mm. Uh, more like um, our clergymen mm. announcing beyond um, the politics, beyond the dirty games mm. in quotes that used to be said. You know, before now, when you talk about politics, it's more like, no, it's a dirty game, don't engage in it. Well, so you even see believers like like absenting themselves from anything that has to do with politics mm. because of over time how it's been practiced, how people do or take politics. You have to be a liar, you have to use propaganda, you have to, and probably all these things are contrary to the faith. Mm. You get so maybe the reasons why some people decide not to be part of politics. Mm. But today, going by the results that have been announced so far, we've seen two clergymen uh, emerging as a winner and uh, it's more like uh, gone where the days when religious leaders will say um, or say or perceive politics uh, uh, as dirty game. Mm. Um, today we have Pastor uh, um, Umo Eno of Akwaibom, mm -hmm. who is now the um, governor elect. And when you go down to Benue State again, mm -hmm. we have Reverend Father High Saint Aliyah, mm -hmm. and he too is now the, the governor elect. So something has changed. Mm -hmm. Of course, that means uh, clergymen are saying, mm -hmm. beyond this preaching of, hey, politicians, can you change? Can you do the needful? Mm -hmm. Since the change, you're not so. doing it, let's go there and, mm -hmm. and, and, and make the change. Mm -hmm. And I think maybe that is what actually uh, made them to go into the contest, mm -hmm. and they have actually emerged. Mm -hmm. What else? Like your, 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 your <laughs> expectations of these people? Mm -hmm. Like, you know, I, you know, aside wearing the collar, He's a businessman. Mm. You understand? He's an employer of level. Mm. If you check his history, you know, people under his payroll, you know, his, uh, his activities. Mm. I think that's what even uh, uh, gave him an edge, mm. you know, over others. And then looking at his constituency mm. coming from the church, mm. you know. And, uh, you know, this politics, if you ask me, if you are a Christian, mm. you are going into a politics, you are a pastor. Mm. You have to see it that way. Mm. Because uh, you are a Christian mm. first before going into politics. Mm. You are a believer first before going into politics. Mm. And if they say you are a believer, what is your calling? Mm. Your calling is to impact mm. into the society. Give people hope, mm. you understand? Mm. Give people hope and, and give them direction. That life of Jesus you are expected to replicate. What am I trying to say? Mm. In leadership, in leadership, you are expected mm. to, to face humanity first. Mm. Once you have that in the, at the back of your mind, mm. people will start even asking, whether this person is a pastor mm. or this person is 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 a is an imam or this person yes because they, they will tag you yes they will tag you yeah. because they will see something different about you mm. because your center whatever is humanity mm. and when you think about humanity you someone doesn't need to preach to you mm. you know about uh how you supposed to treat your fellow human being you or people you are even mm. leading yeah. Well, with this, I will just take a, a short break and we'll be right back. <laughs>